Uh, so I was actually coming down to the lab to grab uh, a delicious sparkling water. We're not sponsored, but if they'd like it, Clark Run would like to sponsor us, call us. Um, and I heard the PDP on, and lo and behold, Dawson was in here um, fiddling with the tape drives, and he's doing something that I thought would make an interesting video anyway. Uh, so we're yeah, shooting a little impromptu video. So I'm going to take the phone from Dawson, and uh, Dawson, what are we doing? Uh, well, I have been playing with the torque on the hubs for the tape drive. Um, because if you have, well, so for each hub there are two different adjustable torque settings. When you are moving in one direction, this hub is moving at full speed, and then this hub has a slight back torque on it to keep tension on the tape. And you can adjust that torque so that you don't, so you want to keep that tape flush on the head. Um, because, you know, I, as I have it now, you can't see that it's moving even, unless it bounces. There's a little bounce, yeah. Yes. And I don't know if that bounce is good or bad in that sense, because I don't think there's any instructions that pulse the hub for right. a millisecond like that. Right. Um, because if you have the torque too high, the stopping torque too high, which is what's causing that, you can burn the motor out. Um, so the stopping torque is actually right here where I'm moving the hub back with my hand. Um, you can actually adjust it and kind of play it by feel. And the manual even says the experienced technician will be able to use their finger to determine the tension of the tape and determine whether or not it's uh, torqued properly. So, so uh, that's so uh, so precise, you know. Yeah. That's like uh, somewhere in one of these manuals, it talks about um, you know uh, gently physically adjusting uh, some connection, you know, bumping it basically um, for uh, I think a flip chip or something. But so Dawson is adjusting the torque. I'm actually going to stand on a chair here. Um, So, uh, the, the, there's a couple little pots, potentiometers in here, that he's adjust. Sorry, Dawson. No, you're fine. Um, so, there's uh, four of them on two cards. And you see, what, what was the difference between the, the four? Uh, so, the card all the way on this side, I suppose the top of your camera viewing, um, sure. is so. for the right hub, and then the bottom one there will be for the left hub. Sure. The potentiometer on the left, um, or the back of the card, is controlling the stopping torque, yeah. and then the potentiometer on the other side is controlling the back drag, for oh. how, how much torque we're dragging. And I think uh, when I was reading one of the manuals, or reading about the TU-55s, so that's this model of tape drive, I think the way the back torque is created is by essentially running the opposite motor in the reverse direction at half the voltage or or some fraction of the the normal forward voltage so um, basically the side that's pulling is literally dragging the other motor in the opposite direction that sounds right uh, i may have the you know the fraction wrong but it, it's something along those lines so yeah so hopefully this will keep the the tape drives uh from you know, wearing themselves out and wearing the tapes out. Um, we don't want the tapes to slap uh, back, you know, when when the tape drive changes direction. Um, because uh, nobody's making deck tape anymore. So uh, yeah. we want our deck tapes to last a long time. All right, uh, is there anything else we should talk about in this video? Um, I can't think of anything. I mean, I was just gonna spray some contact cleaner on these switches because they're kind of flaky. Sure. So, um, next is going to be trying to get some Fortran to run again. Yes, the eternal quest. All right. Well, until next time, thank you.